All right. For those of you just joining us for this bit, there's been a little change to my show, and this is the only time you're going to get to see him up here tonight because he does not like this. Oh. Blink, and you're going to miss it because he's <laughs> going to immediately, and I, I take my ear set out for a second to pick oh, him look, up. You have a new friend. Don't kick me. <laughs> so hold on a second. He's not going to, I'm warning you already, he's not going to like this, and when he wants to get put down, he's getting put down because I'm not. I'm trying not to let him hate me. You don't want to torture him. Right. So hold on one second. I'll show you. Here we go. Come on, buddy. You're not going to like this. I know. I know. I know. Oh, this God, is oh, God. Grady. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's happening? Do you, uh, do you hear that? Oh. How pathetic that is. He does not like to be held at all. Do you want to go back down now? Please do release me. Furball. Oh. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? Oh, little baby. What, why are you staring at Dan? Okay, there you go. Now you're down. You're going to do what? something horrible. I know it. Now he's making the most pissed off noise. He's like, no. No. Well, that's that's my new cat. That's Grady. <laughs> he's a rag doll, and he is terrified of every fuck. And now he's hiding under my footstool. Oh, he sounds a little skittish. It's a little... Yeah. This, let's list. All right, here's the things Grady likes. Grady likes sleep. Grady likes food. He likes pooping. He likes the feather toy. Here's everything Grady doesn't like. Except for that last one, that's pretty much the things Miracle likes. Toys don't really do it for her anymore. Grady doesn't like when I stand up. Grady doesn't like when I walk anywhere in his vicinity. Grady doesn't like when I sit on the floor anywhere nearby him. Grady doesn't like being picked up. Grady doesn't like when I make any sort of random noise. Cough, sneeze, clearing my throat. Hates that shit. Grady does not like when I change clothes. He really doesn't like that. Grady does not like when I open the door. Grady does not like when I close the door. Grady does not like when a duck farts two miles away. So he's a little skittish. A little? Okay, okay, you don't have to kick me. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, you're not going to jump down from there because you'll break your little butt. Come here. Oh, don't you grumble at me. He's and you have a nice grumpy little old lady like I do. Hang on a second, I'll show everybody. He's giving me the death glare now. Oh, it's okay. He's giving me the death glare. Here, Why do you pick me up? Show people on the big screen. Why you do this? He's hiding now. Giving me the death glare a minute ago. He's hiding under my footstool. Oh. Oh, cat. So, yeah, th this is... <sighs> Rag dolls are supposed to be very attentive and, and loving and like cuddles and being picked up and all that. Yeah, no. Well, he might get there. You've only had him a week. Yeah. Cats are neurotic little balls of melodrama. Yeah. Like, you should hear the epic Scarlett O'Hara-esque fits that come out of her when we give her eardrops that she desperately needs. Or, you know, every time Dan takes her out of my lap, she has a coughing fit. Cats are neurotic little balls of melodrama. Yeah. Like, he's letting you rub his belly, and he's sleeping on your feet. He obviously trusts you, so it'll take some time. Except when I pick... He's scared of heights. I have, my, I have a cat that's scared of heights. Bridget, my sister, moved a little over a month ago. Bridget, like, just started really exploring the house last week. Bridget has spent, like, the last month just in my sister's bedroom, hunkered down. Also, they had a baby, and Bridget has not enjoyed that. She's been growling at the baby until, like, last week. So, cats cats take some time to adjust, to change. Yeah, they like it. I'm doing everything when that... When we moved here, it took, like, two months for Miracle to even come downstairs voluntarily. I did all the, all the things, the research, all I did all the reading, and it said, when you get a new cat, you bring it into its own little room... Bring all this stuff together, let it explore that space and get confident. And then in a few days, you can show them the rest of that. Nope. Every time I open the door to this room, he's like, fuck, no, no. <laughs> well, you're doing everything you should be doing. He just obviously needs some more time. That's all. 
fucking needs Valium is what he fucking needs. Like I said, she wouldn't come down here voluntarily for a couple of months. Like, unless we dragged her down here. Yes, Dan is sick. Dan has been hacking up a lung oh. for, like, a few days. I'm sorry. Feel better, dude. So, I have a cough, too, but mine has gotten better. <coughs> His has... And that wasn't fake, I swear. <laughs> his his has not. So in the background, you might hear some terrible coughing. He... The poison is finally kicking in. <laughs> what? Nothing. Look at your phone. I love you. <laughs> so. Me and the kitty were making a run for it. So, well, with all the pleasantries dispensed with, let's get to the nonsense. The nonsense! Okay, each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And I'm, our first one, I guess, is, is, is timely, considering today uh, is, uh, we're doing this on the 18th. This is Martin Luther King Day which commemorates a very great man, a leader in the uh, struggle for, you know, the end of segregation and racial equality and, well, the beginning of racial equality, all, the, all that stuff. I have, I should have brought them to the show tonight. I have them upstairs. My mom was at the March on Washington and I still have her buttons. Yeah, now, now. From the Mar March on Washington. The thing about Martin Luther King, um, not many people know this apparently, he was very famously taken from us by a sniper. He was assassinated. Do not many people know that? Well, apparently the Air, on Air Force Base um, in like Georgia. School still, right? Well, apparently an Air Force Base in Georgia was not aware of this. Air Force Base apologizes for Martin Luther King fun shoot posters. No. U.S. Air Force officials said it was, quote, an honest mistake to have a fun shoot event after murdered civil rights leader Martin Luther King. The officials in Georgia say they were, quote, deeply sorry for distributing flyers to promote the Martin Luther King Jr. fun shoot event and have removed them. Oh, my God. The event is still listed on its website, although the name of Martin Luther King has been omitted. Do you want to see the poster, everybody? Here's the poster. You don't want to... Spoiler alert, you don't want to see the poster. Are you going to come and see the poster? Oh, somebody's losing rank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Do we know that this wasn't intentional emily makes a good point like do we know that this was not intentional on the part of some fucking asshole i don't you know georgia was one of those states that we had to fight kicking and screaming to get the confederate flag down just as, as recently as a few years ago the state was offering official license plates that featured the confederate flag like south carolina took theirs down this fucking summer these people are still out there yeah this was an air force base yeah yeah that would not be intentional because that's instant loss of at least a couple of ranks. Oh. And a lot of pay and maybe six months in the brig. Oh, well, all right yeah. then. If somebody did that intentionally, it's a really, really stupid officer. So say it's Lieutenant Dan. Wait, were you, what was your rank? I was a private. Damn, that doesn't work then. No. Things I should know about the man I'm going to marry. So, yeah. So this is stupidity. I hope. That's not better. I hope. It's, well, it's, no, it's not better because these people have, you know, planes with bombs and guns. Mm. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not comforted by the fact that, you know, the people who have some of the most powerful weapons on the planet may be imbeciles. Yeah. I'm really excited for the Holocaust Memorial smoke out. Like, come on. It's not that hard. 
So we, we've, we've got more tonight. For the Buddy Holly skydiving competition. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> um. So we've got more tonight. Um. You know, we in America we've had a, a recent, a lot of recent issues, and 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 the awareness of gun violence has become much higher lately. Famously, uh, Obama's taken some executive actions on oh that. My God, somebody doesn't know who Buddy Holly is. What? Dan, we're old. Deal with it. Just, just, just deal with it. We're old, man. It, it's. It, you gotta it, Google that shit. He's, he's awesome. Yeah. Um. So we've had issues with guns. So our next story, at least, I appreciate that a gun was not used. However, that doesn't entirely make it better. This comes from San Pedro. Woman tries to rob San Pedro back bank with a stick. Oh. A woman with a wooden stick in her hand tried to rob a San Pedro bank Monday morning, but was quickly <laughs> arrested. The woman walked into the Bank of America and with a stick in her hand and a note demanding cash from a teller. She also claimed to have a gun. A teller did not give her anything, so she walked away. I would love to have a transcript of that conversation. If you have a gun and you want to rob a bank, open with the gun. Give me all your money. Why? I have a the teller is not going to go fetch while you run into the vault. <laughs> okay. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Go get it. Okay, get the money. Get the money. No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I have a stick. I have bulletproof glass. I'm, I, and this little button that calls the police. Yeah, stick does not be bulletproof glass. You know. Where it, does that fall in rock, paper, scissor? Um, well, paper. Stick technically paper? Stick is te stick becomes paper, so I guess paper beats stick. Um, rock breaks stick. Scissors. Yeah, you could, if you're determined enough, you could cut through a stick. Mm -hmm. You could smash a stick with a rock, I feel like. Pretty much you failed on every, at every yeah, metric. I don't think stick beats much. Stick doesn't beat anything. You know, if, if, if you've got like a really good stick, you could give someone some bruises or something. If you're like a martial artist or something, you could fuck someone up with a stick. But I mean, don't do that. Don't do that. We, I, I hate that we actually have to tell people, like, don't, don't do that. Don't rob banks anyway. But with a stick, though, did you really think this was going to work? You were Charlie Sheen robbed a, blank, a bank with a Butterfinger bar? No, he kidnapped someone with a Butterfinger bar. Right. The Getaway. That was the movie. With Christy, oh. was it Christy Swanson? Yeah, that's not what it was. Chasers. Chase it. Was it Chasers? Yeah. And then they like have sex behind the wheel of the car on the highway while they're driving. Some of them, yeah. It was a really terrible movie. Was it Rollins in that one? And Probably. Flea? Flea was it? The Chase. That's it. Yeah. There you go. I think Rollins and Flea. Rollins has a new movie that's really good and you need to see it. It's called He Never Died. And he's playing Kane. Yeah, it sounds like Rollins. It's pretty great. You guys should see it. It's a really good movie. But it we is. It on, we rented it off Direct TV. I don't know if it's out on DVD yet. But, but back to our topic. Stick. Yeah. Did you really think this was going to work? What, were you sitting there with a stick? Were you walking down the street? You picked up a stick. The idea came into your head. It's foolproof. No. No, no. You were like, my God, a stick. Now I can do anything. This was the thing I'd been searching for. My plan is complete. No. This is what dogs think when they find a stick. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm really interrupting a lot tonight. It's like the money. It's like a Monty Python skit. <laughs> I'd like all of your money. No, I've got a stick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <coughs> Everyone's sick. Yay. Um. Yeah. So let's moving on. So we keep coming back. This is another thing we keep coming back to, and Christ knows why. 
This is sort of one of those intersections of that doesn't go there and these ridiculous white people, because it's always white people, ridiculous white people health claims. Oh, God. Like, remember Gwyneth Paltrow and that steam clean your vagina it's shit? Supposed to have, like, herbal steam in your vagina? You're what? not supposed to have herbal steam in your vagina. Well, there is there is yet another. Someone has upped the ante, as it were, on that one. And I gotta, I wonder what the independent was thinking with this cover picture. But woman putting herb balls in vagina to detox their womb have been warned of dangers. Now, now for just you don't need to detox. It, it's a self-cleaning organ. It doesn't need to be detoxed. It does that by itself. I just want to pause a minute. This is on the cover of the. This is the independent's photo for this story. As d do you not know where vagina is? Did you need to have an example? I mean, it is on the internet, so. Yeah, I guess so. And here's an example of what they've been putting inside themselves. Here, here, oh, i got to read this. Women are being warned of the dangers of a, quote, womb detox product after health experts said it could cause irritation and even toxic shock syndrome. U.S. firm called Embrace Pangea. Ugh. Pangea as in? The first continent. Right. Is selling herbal womb detox pearls online, claiming the product, quote, aids to correct conditions such as endometriosis, ovarian cysts, and thrush. It won't. It won't do any of that. The pearls of small balls of perfume herbs, perfumed even better, are sold in one or two month packages with packages on sale for between $85 and $480. Whoa. Another package claims to promote, quote, vaginal tightening, which it says works by tightening the womb so the vaginal canal will shrink. None of this is science. That doesn't, okay. Let's just debunk a little myth here, okay? There's no such thing as, like, your your vagina doesn't get looser. It's a muscle. It expands and contracts. That doesn't happen, dudes. That doesn't happen. No. And shoving a fucking teabag up there is certainly not going to give you porn star vagina. A, a doctor, an actual doctor wrote this, and I'm very proud of her. Dr. Jen Gunter, a U.S. gynecologist, uh, wrote a blog post debunking the claim. She wrote, quote, your uterus is it tired or depressed or dirty and your vagina has not misplaced its chakra. No. They want no real help from you unless there's something wrong. Then they will tell you there is something wrong by bleeding profusely or itching or cramping badly or producing an odor. They will let you know. The vagina is literally a self-cleaning organ. Yes. The reason it produces mucus is to clean itself. Let's have a little biology lesson here, people. You do not need to douche. You do not need to shove cleaning agents up there. You do not need to use Lysol, which they used to fucking market that shit for. You do not need to shove a $90 tea bag up your hoo-ha. It'll take care of its fucking self. If you have some discomfort, go to doctor. Yeah. Not crazy people who want $500 from you on the internet. Eat some yogurt. See a doctor. I mean, Jesus H. Christ. This, this is toxic. This, this whole detox thing. I know. You have toxins. Do you even know what the fuck a toxin is? Flint, it's Michigan. Bad. Flint, Michigan has fucking toxins. Yeah. It's called lead poisoning. That's an actual. Things is like a catch-all for things that are wrong for you with you. Like, remember for, for a while, a couple of years ago, there were those patches you were supposed to put on the bottom of your feet while you yeah. sleep. Magnets were supposed to suck out the toxins. They, they turn black overnight, which would prove that they had sucked all the toxins out of your body. No. Really just your sweat turned the crap in the little pouch black. Yeah, it's called pH balance. It's yeah. science. <sighs> Don't, and toxic so shock syndrome is fucking serious. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Women in the Middle Ages used to die from that shit. 
You Hell, women today die from that shit. You can't just shove random shit up there, man. You can't. It's not. It's just... Nah. You certainly can't shove little sachets of herbs up there. And perfume! That doesn't go in your vagina. No. Uh, this well, shit makes me so mad. Well, let's, let's move on to something, I guess, a little lighter. Now, I, I really... This is another week where I'm looking at the criminals and go, you know what? This was probably a bad idea on your part, but... I admire your moxie. It just maybe you should have thought it out a little more. Um, I need to rub the, oh, okay. Surprisingly, even though marijuana is becoming legal in more and more places in America, we are still getting, you know, marijuana being smuggled into the United States. So these marijuana smugglers had a novel idea for getting it in here. Fake. Carrots. Oh. Border officers find a ton of pot in fake carrots. Now, I want you to understand what this is made out of. That doesn't look like a carrot. That looks like no. a pump full of pot. <laughs> exactly. It's a plastic bag that's wrapped in orange electrical tape under the pretense that it's carrot. And it looks like a condom full of pot. That looks less like a carrot than those little cones of orange jelly beans you get at Easter's. <laughs> I, I appreciate them trying to conceal. Now, what they did was, if you, we have another smaller picture down here. They did put them in trucks full of actual carrots. Why How not hollow out? Actual carrots? Yeah! Just get carrots and like carve them out and put the little bags in the carrots. Or potatoes. Fucking Idaho potatoes are huge. Yeah, no, no. We're cups or some shit. So I gotta give you your points for trying, but big subtraction for execution because of course, yeah. once, once officials just saw that there were these orangish dildo-esque things because plastic is reflective and yeah, it yeah. looks like plastic. So it's like, oh, you're hauling carrots and homemade dildos. Bugs Bunny is not falling for that. No, this is not it. You tried. You did your best. Bless your little heart. Bless your little smuggling heart. You tried. Officers were able to fill up the beds of two pickup trucks with the seized contraband. The estimated street value is half a million dollars. Wow. And they couldn't come up with a better vessel than that for half a mil? It's, it's one of those, you know that shit's legal here now, right? Only in some places. Well, yeah, but you can go to those places and if you got good product, yeah. it'll Legitimate sell. People will buy it from you. Yeah. And you will have not committed a felony at all. But no, you have to. Although Man, I imagine getting it into the country is still hard. Can you just imagine these poor bastards spending hours upon hours wrapping up fake care? This is the best idea we've ever had. Oh, God, yeah, this is going to work. Half a million dollars easy. Keep wrapping them. These don't look like carrots. You shut the fuck up. They do, too. You shut the fuck. These are carrots, man. Uh, well, even more to come. Speaking of drugs, <laughs> uh, let's talk about one that's not legal anywhere at this point. Um, I understand that illegal drugs are considered valuable on the street. They have a value, even though they are not legal, they're worth something to people. Street value is an actual term. But not everyone wants drugs as currency, and certainly not McDonald's. Oh. McDonald's customer pays at drive through with cash and heroin. Oh. Report Indiana. Indiana police say a man paid for his McDonald's food accidentally handed a bag of heroin to a drive-thru worker 
along with his money. Accidentally? Accidentally. How do you, how do, you do that accidentally? The LaPorte City Police reported the incident said an employee at the McDonald's in LaPorte took money from a mail dryer, driver who appeared intoxicated Monday night, and she sorted out bills to discover a green plastic baggie containing a rock-like substance. Police say the substance appeared to be heroin, and later testing confirmed the presence of the drug. It's She doesn't have change for that. No. It's like, you know what, I, I want to buy my, my McNugget meal. I got $4. Can you break a dime thing, bag? As I understand it with heroin, what you have is probably worth way more than what you got at McDonald's. You know, you could have just Heroin's owned... Heroin's fucking expensive. You could have just owned the dollar menu several times over. Yeah, like you could have bought all their food. You could have been... You could have been like, okay, this is for me and everybody behind me for the next three years. Heroin's not fucking cheap. <laughs> you overpaid for your McDouble. <laughs> and if he was high and trying to pay with heroin, don't, don't, don't do, don't go to the drive-thru when you're fucked up. Please don't go to the drive-thru when you're fucked up. Bad things happen. Like this. Just don't get behind the wheel when you're fucked up. <clears throat> no. And don't walk into McDonald's and try to be like, you know. Just stay home when you're fucked up. Just stay home when you're fucked just up. Just stay home. Tolly's like, Tara, so he should have haggled? And order a fucking pizza. Have food brought to you. Yeah, don't. Don't, don't, don't do the. Why would you? Don't, don't, don't. don't go to the. Don't. Just stay home when you're fucked up. <laughs> Stay home when you're fucked up. That's good advice. Oh, and our last one tonight is, of course, some good old fashioned crazy. And it comes to us. Let's just let's just go down the list here. It's uh, suburban Georgia, so we're starting there. It it's a Waffle House. Oh. So, so we're, and of course, the cherry on top, it's naked time! Did the cops just buzz by you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the cops came by. Is the cat freaking out? No, he's still hiding under my, my foot rest. He's cool with the cops, but not with you moving your foot? Yep. Cat hates me. Was the cat born in a crack house by any chance? I don't know. Woman charged with public indecency at Waffle House. Oh my god, Dan actually sent me this and I forgot to send it to you. A woman is under arrest after a naked rampage. That's for your... Word. If you're playing the bingo at home, there you go. Naked rampage. Through a Waffle House. Jennifer Mary Henderson, 37, is jailed in Cobb County, Georgia, northwest of Atlanta. Sheriff's booking report says she's been charged with aggravated bat battery criminal damage to property. She's also charged with public indecency. Police tell uh, CNN that Henderson stripped off her clothes, hit a woman, and threw several platters of food at Waffle House customers. When police tried to arrest her, she fought back, scratching an officer. No bond has been posted. What's the thing? What's the thing at Waffle House with the hash browns? Like smothered, Scaff. covered? Smothered, smothered. Splattered and scattered. Maybe that's what she was hoping for. Maybe she wanted to get smothered, splattered, and scattered. I don't know what that means. Apparently she doesn't either. Oh, honey. This is like this. I think she was looking for a different kind of smothered, splattered, and scattered. This is what what in the world at a Waffle House could make you this upset? It's it's a Waffle House. Is it, the food good at Waffle House? Well, it's not bad. Okay. It's not great. But, you know, it's when you find yourself in a Waffle House getting, you know, naked and beating on people. It's probably time to rethink your life. You, you, this is what rock bottom looks like. Yeah. It's probably time to ask yourself some hard questions. <laughs> Do you ever think during any of these incidences, there's one of those moments of self-awareness where they go, what the fuck am I doing? You may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? <laughs> and you may find yourself 
in a Waffle House, naked and beating the pee shit out of people. And you may think to yourself, my God, what have I done? Exactly. <laughs> Letting the days go by. No, it, it's just... I'm just I wonder, do they ever come to their senses at a moment and go, holy shit, what? Apparently not, because the cops came and she started flipping the fuck out on the cops. No, don't. That, getting into a fight with the cops at a Waffle House, is there anything more quintessentially Southern? And you just know, <laughs> they probably had to sanitize everything in that place, because there was some naked chick touching everything. You can't, and it's yeah. A, and it's a food establishment. Yep. Like, they probably had to close down and sanitize everything because you can't have people touching stuff in a food establishment. Well, it is a Waffle House. Let alone rubbing their ass all over it. Well, it's a Waffle House. So I should never eat at Waffle House, is what you're saying? Well, ask your fiancé. He's just giving me a thumbs up and a weird, creepy smile. There you go. You, sh you feel safe. That That is a glowing endorsement right there. Feel everything's good. I think you've seen the smile that I, I'm talking about, and it doesn't make me feel safe. Nah. So, so he got really mad at me this week. We were we were watching Lip Sync Battle. Have you watched Lip Sync Battle? With Was that with, what's his name, Fallon? It, now it's a show on Spike TV. Oh, cool. They host it. It's a whole show now. Oh, okay. And they have they pit celebrities against each other. So this this week was Olivia Munn versus Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart decided to open with a number by Usher, and I was like, I don't know if he's gonna be able to dance like Usher. And Dan says, Well, I think so because he was doing a stand up routine. You know, I listen. He listens to Comedy Central in the car a lot, and he said I heard one of his stand up routines where he said that when you're the short guy at the bar. You got to stand out somehow. So he learned to dance. And there was, there was a few moments of quiet. And I just said, so that's not what you went with, huh? <laughs> he got a little mad at me. But he, I mean, I love him. He's a wonderful human. He can't dance. Well, you know, some of us, we're just too white. We're just too white. We went to a friend's wedding. And uh, <laughs> it, was, it was an interracial wedding. So half the crowd really, really could dance. And luckily, one of the cousins at our table, I was like, no, no, he can't dance. And he's like, that's fine. Come on, let's deal some cards. And like took him out that there. And like that man was very drunk and very nice. But uh, so I got in a little trouble for that. Well, anyway, what have we learned this week? We've learned naked and punching cops at a Georgia Waffle House. No way to go through life. That's a mountain goat song right there, guys. <laughs> that, that that that's not. That, I think that's more like a Lonely Island song. <clears throat> Maybe, yeah, but that's that's not where you want to be in life. It's really not no. where you want to be. We've learned that while money can be exchanged for goods and services, drugs a little sketchier there. Well, they can, but not at most reputable businesses. Right. Y you can probably get it your 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 buddy Squiggy down the street. But not McDonald's. No. Because, you know, they have rules about that sort of stuff. It's in the employee handbook. And the kid making minimum wage is definitely not committing a felony, so you can get your McMuffin. Yeah. We've learned that just making the effort to conceal the drugs is only half the battle. You, yeah. You've got to do it in a smart way. Yeah, you got to do a good job. <laughs> you can't... Craft really doesn't count. Craft it's it's like when you're when you're in 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 elementary school. Participation is good, but you have to show you know craftsmanship counts. Yeah, you know it's it's. We've learned you do not need to put anything in your vagina to make your vagina work normally. No. It's no. It's there's toxins is bullshit. If anyone tells you it's going to clean out toxins, ask them what toxins. If they can't. Tell them to go fuck themselves. You, you, yeah, your vagina does not need a chamomile ginger bath. You know what cleans out toxins? Chelation. Do you not know what chelation is? Then you should probably stop buying shit from people. Your vagina wants to be left the fuck alone. Leave, leave your vagina. Well, maybe not. 
completely with, with with regard to you know its toxins and chakras right don't it don't need your help it's got that covered yeah it's fine it knows what it's doing that's what it was made for we've learned when attempting to rob a bank stick beats nothing yeah stick beats especially they will tell you to go get fucked without He's, they will the laugh the mall cop that's hanging out in the bank he probably has a taser Taser beats stick. stick. Taser beats stick. Yeah. And finally, we've learned that the U.S. Air Force at the Warner... Oh, it's Warner Robins Air Force Base. Dan, do you remember Warner Robins? We used to go there all the time for games back in the day. In the cam, we used to hold events there. Warner Robins was one of those big cam places. He's thinking uh, really hard. Do. Oh, he does. Yeah. Remember Valerie Taylor down there? They used to have a chapter. It was like the Atlanta chapter and the Warner Robins chapter. Yep. Oh. Yes, oh, God. I feel even worse now because I've been there. <laughs> oh, Just my God. Get Martin Luther King fun shoot. Like, yeah. Apparently learned the Air Force really good on shooting things at a distance. Not so good on history. Don't you have to be smart to be in the Air Force because you have to know how to work planes and shit? Like... You can't be a fucking moron and be in the Air Force. I would beg to differ at this point, Tara. Yeah, I guess, apparently. <laughs> you have to know how to fly a plane. That's hard. No, no it really isn't. Oh. Well, okay. all, all evidence to the contrary. You don't have to be that smart to be in the Air Force. Apologies to the veterans out there. Uh, 